your referee, Howard Foster. And now, your referee, Howard Foster. Yes, bwana mambo vipi na tumaini utakuwa buhelo afya njema hata mimi pia niko vizuri kuli kweli. Sasa mitandaoni kumekuwa na maswali mengi sana na malalamiko kadhaa kijitokeza baada ya bondia kutoka Afrika Kusini Sabelo Ngebinyana kulalamika kwamba kwenye pambano lake dhidi ya Ibrahim Mafia halikutendewa haki na majaji wameweza kumnyima ushindi wa wazi ambao yanaamini kwa upande wake aliweza kufanikiwa. Tunakumbuka bondia Ibrahim Mafia weekend ile pale nafasi ya kupanda lingoni mbele ya mpinzani wake Sabelo Ngebinyana raia kutoka Afrika Kusini kwenye pambano la kimataifa lenye ubingwa wa WBC Africa Mafia na Sabelo waliweza kucheza pambano la round 10 kwenye kuwania ubingwa wa WBC Africa kwenye Super Bantam kilogram hamsini na tatu na kwa bahati mbaya kwenye lile pambano matokeo ya kawasare baada ya jaji mmoja kumpa Ibrahim Mafia, jaji wa pili kumpa Sabelo Ngebijana, jaji wa tatu kutoa matokeo ya sare. Kwa hiyo pambano kwa matokeo ya jumla ikatangazwa kama ni sale. Yes, tuliweza kushuhudia pambano hilo ambalo limeandaliwa na Mafia Boxing Promotion wao ambao waliweza kuzindua eh, arena yao na wakawa wamesema kwamba kwenye huu zinduzi mkubwa basi kwa kuna pambano kubwa la kuania ubingwa wa WBC Africa. Na hatimaye kwa amefanikiwa baada ya uzinduzi wa arena nzuri ya kiwanja sasa kwenye mchezo wa Masumbwi na hatimaye tukashuhudia pambano la kukata na shoka. Endapo Ibrahim Mafia angeweza kufanikiwa kutoa eh, ubingwa huo wa WBC Africa basi moja kwa moja angekuwa ingia eh, kwenye viwango vya mkanda wa WBC duniani kama bingwa anashikilia mkanda wa WBC Africa kwenye uzani wa kilogram hamsini na tatu kwa upande wa Afrika na hii inakuwa rekodi kama ya bondia eh, Fadhili Majia ambaye kwa sasa yeye ni bingwa wa WBC Africa kwenye uzani wa kilogram hamsini na tano kwa hiyo Ibrahim Mafia alikuwa WBC Africa hamsini na tatu kilogram wakati huo Fadhili Majia hayuko kwenye kilogram hamsini na tano kwa hiyo zote ni WBC Africa lakini bahati haikuwa nzuri kwa upande wa Ibrahim Mafia na hatimaye lile pambano likawa limekamilika kwa sare baada ya hilo pambano malalamiko yakawa mengi sana kwa upande wa Sabelo Ngebinyana anasema kwamba alitegemea apate matokeo mazuri lakini amenyimwa ushindi wa wazi na simu pia ikapigwa kwa ajili ya kuthibitisha hilo mwandaji wa Mafia Boxing Promotion aeleze kwa undani nini ambacho kiweza kujitokeza kwenye lile pambano kwa sababu kwa bahati nzuri au mbaya haikurushwa kwenye TV yoyote kwa hiyo sasa watu wakawa wamepata shida kupata matokeo ya haraka lakini pambano lilikamilika kwa sare na malalamiko kama jitokeza baada ya Sabelo Ngebinyana kujitoa hadharani mbele ya waandishi wa habari kutoa tuhuma hizo za kusema kwamba amezulumiwa na ufafanuzi ukawa umetolewa kwa wale ambao waweza kuandaa hilo pambano wakasema kila kitu kilienda sawa na hawaamini kama Sabelo Ngebinyana aliweza kuzulumiwa kwenye lile pambano sikiliza hii simu kwa uchache kiongozi kutoka Mafia Boxing Promotion akielezea namna ambavyo mchezo ulikuwa na kujibu tuhuma za Sabelo Ngebinyana Sabelo analalamika haikupaswa kuwa draw na yeye mwenyewe nimemtafuta anasema haikupaswa kuwa draw kwa hiyo nikasema nisizungumze upande mmoja ndugu yangu upo unipe maoni yako fight ilikuwaje na kile ambacho kimetokea kwa upande wa mafia kama mtendaji mkuu a a nilipaswa tushinde sisi haikupaswa kuwa draw kweli yes kwa sababu cha kwanza tukiri kwamba Sabelo ni bondia mzuri bondia ambaye anajua nini anachokifanya na tulitaka Ibrahim Mafia apate mpinzani wa kweli sio awe bondia wa mchongo kutengenezwa kwa mantiki hiyo yule Sabelo analalamika lakini kitaalamu Sabelo alipigwa ngumi akatafika ndani ya ulingo wakati mchezo unaendelea na katika boxing referee anaruhusiwa kusimamisha mchezo ikiwa jambo hilo linatokea kwa nini mtu atafiki akiwa ulingoni Alichelewa kula. Eh? Alichelewa kula. Ah ah, hayo sasa sisi hatujui katika mfumo wake wa maisha. Mm. Eh, kwa hiyo sasa hilo moja na pili kilichotokea ni kwamba ile round ya kwanza tulicheza lakini round ya pili tulipigwa, Ibrahim alipigwa, round ya tatu Ibrahim alipigwa, round ya nne Ibrahim alipigwa. Kuanzia hapo mpaka tunamaliza pambano ilikuwa tunamkalisha tu tu tunamwendesha tumbio na tuli tulalamika kidogo watu wote waliokuepo pale walilalamika waliona kama kwa nini kijana kanyimwa kanyimwa kucheza kwa sababu unapopigwa na mchezo huu wa, wa ngumi ni mchezo wa wazi kila mtu anaona kwa hiyo akilalamika kwamba eh sare ni kweli sio sare eh, sisi tumeshinda tulipaswa kushinda sisi lakini mengine huwa majaji ndio wanaotoa matokeo na sisi tumeyakubali na tumejipanga kwa ajili ya rematch na tutamwita tena Sabelo 
aje cheze na kijana wetu. Na rematch pengine itakuwa lini au mikakati mpaka ofisi mkae? Uh, baada ya kufanikika hao na tathmini uh, upembuzi ya kilipo kuhusiana na mechi ilivyokuwa wapi tulipopatia wapi tuliyokurekebisha wapi pa kuongeza nguvu zaidi ndio tutajua lakini rematch uh, haiwezi kuzidi mwezi wa saba na na, na alikuwa akilalamika kwamba generator ilizimwa ili mradi kijana aweze kupata break ah uh, hiyo ni hitilafu ya kiume kwa sababu jana umeme ulikuwepo na hatukutumia generator generator tulikuja kuiwasha sasa wakati umeme ulipokuwa ume umetatika na unajulikana kabisa umeme ni wa mgao mm. wa jiji la Dar es Salaam kwa kipindi hichi ambacho rais wetu Mama Samia Suluh Hassan anatafuta solution ya kudumu kwa ajili ya upatikanaji wa umeme nchini na hiyo itabaki kuwa historia katika katika himaya ya nchi yetu Bwana Antonio Nugazi huyo ni afisa mtendaji mkuu wa mafia boxing promotion tumezungumza naye hapa lakini sasa turudi kwa Sabelo Ngebinyana uh, Sabelo uh, This is a CEO of Mafia Boxing Promotion uh, Antonio Nugas and he said that uh, it was a technical problem it was not a plan to to switch off the generator in order mafia uh, boxer to get a break but uh, they need a rematch after their meeting uh, they will come you again they invite you again to get a rematch against uh, Ibra Mafia and he, he said you vomited in a, in a, in, a, in a ring Uh, yes, was a uh, tenth round, last round, uh, yeah, because of like uh, you know uh, in terms of temperature, you know uh, temperature wise, it's different from where I come from. Also, I had a bit of flu, you know. Uh, so like in the tenth round, I feel like uh, the heat was too much for me. Uh, I was almost like was like 30, 30 seconds, uh, 30 seconds before uh, end of the last round. So like the time like. Uh, We were engaging he pulled me over he was always like trying to like uh, push me down all the time was pushing me down pushing me down you know the more he pushes me down he was squeezing me like uh elbow. no like yes by, by the arm he was pushing my head down again 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 against the floor you know so he drops me down after he drops me down when i come up i start to vomit it's when it happens yeah So uh, after that, I just want to know your your views about Asim Magavelim against Seremani Kidunda. Uh, the fight, uh, how was it? Your opinion? Yeah, Velim, uh, he won. He won clean that fight. You know, he won clean. That was no draw. Right. Velim was dominating until uh, until uh, they they said it's a draw after the fight. Like I was surprised. Why? Because Velim was dominating from first round. You know, until uh, the guy he, he knocks him out, he knocks him out. Yo, he knocks him down, and when he came back, he knocks him again. He knocks him back, and then I think it's where like they always like find a way. Even even like I think it's the way the strategy. If they are boxers uh, in Tanzania, if they get a knock a knock down, uh, if they knock the other other opponent uh, down, they they always give the decision to their boxers. Even yesterday, uh, Richard decided to come come back in round seven. After round seven, Ibrahim. Yeah, Ibrahim. He came back round seven, and then they said no. Uh, when they when they mentioned the scorecards, they said no. Uh, it's, 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 it's it's nine it's nine four to nine to nine seven. What are people talking about? No, that one was a robbery. Everyone saw it clean in South Africa. Yes, sir. Your referee, Howard Foster. And now, your referee, Howard Foster.